Hey guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's do weekend energy. Let's do weekend energy. Let me plug this light in. Let me plug it in. <clears throat> what is happening? What are you stuck on? Stuck? Stuck? Oh, this is what happens. My little buddy bear. My little buddy bear. Alright, Sheldon, out of the way. Out of the way. Okay. Alright. Uh, I'm kind of situated. Oh, I wanted to clean my glasses. Let me use my shirt. I almost just said, just start the video over, but you know, nope, because you know what? Something else will come up. So there's that. So. I'm going to do earth, water, fire, and then what's next? Yeah. I didn't actually even want to go on that particular order. That's weird. I'm going to group, um, I'm going to group them by elements. So, I guess we're starting with earth. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is now until, like, let's say Monday. Weekend energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. For real. Um. Okay. I'll tell you right here. Someone's really tr going within, trying to figure out how to balance the scales, but they're just watching. Okay, so I just don't want that many at one time. So I start with Capricorn, please. Wicked energy. Oh yeah. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. There's a big deal here with something or someone. Nostalgia is like six of pass. It's totally Mercury. Um, that's like a new soul family. So you got a couple things going on. Um, and it really just depends, you know, your placements and, and which is stronger. But this is Earth energy. So... I feel like someone has a victim men mentality with something, you know, um, and they're watching research. This is more like researching, um, it's like two people are playing victim. I don't know if this is like Misery Loves Company. And then you have the complete opposite energy here of you either dreaming of somebody, you, there's something. There's a union, there's, you know, big potential, big dreams. Some of you are reconsidering Who you're sharing energy with, possibly. Because this is like a new soul group, a new soul family. Again, this is like a protection card. Like there's some, it's almost like someone can't get through unless something gets done. So I don't know if this is you. You need to wrap something up from your past. They need to wrap something up from the past. You definitely have... Yeah, see, Nine of Pence, Three of Swords. This is some big disappointment, but the Nine of Pence is a beautiful card, and it's lots of great energy. So I don't know why it's with the Three of Swords. Maybe you're not happy being single. Nah, see, that's not a thing. The Nine of Pence is a beautiful energy. So let's just start with this victim, because this, for me right now, is kind of like 
Misery loves company type situation. All right, so the Empress Piss is a it's a it's a family situation. There's lies, okay. Um, the Empress lying or the Empress is lying. Boyfriend, girlfriend. It's not work. This is family. This is the Empress a husband, okay. Um, so I don't know if they're playing victim. Someone else is playing victim. This energy is like not having it. Pissed off. There's lies, though. There's something hidden. There's secrets. There's, you know, see, this is different. This is somebody who doesn't stand in their own morals, you know, doesn't, has no integrity, um, weak. King of Pence, yeah. Someone, see, it's like you have a masculine that's kind of like pissed off and putting that energy into nothing. Um, so that, it is like that for some of you. This is Misery Loves Company. What is this mirroring? Ace of Wands reverse. So there's no mutual feelings here. I don't know if someone was trying to pull you in with an attraction thing or a sexual thing. That There's, there's, someone has passion on one end and there's zero passion on another. Like you're not on the same page here. And then you got the tower. I don't know if you thought what well, somebody thought playing sexually would work. Take the cake here. Because this, the Ace of Wands is in this predicament is a sexual thing. It's like someone didn't want to see someone make some type of decision. What is this observer? So someone's watching you or you're watching them or, or this is a, you know, someone watching. Yeah, see, this is maybe someone you're dealing with is not single. They told you they were single. Again, the King of Pens not doing anything. Um... Lack of strength. See, this is somebody who's got a lot of um, power. It's leadership. Reverse is no no balance, no control. Something's out of their control. It's like this energy is not even standing in their own power right now. So about the Ten of Cups. I don't know if someone tries, was trying to pull you in with an idea or like a passion and it's just, it's not, it's not going to work or it wasn't working. That, see, that's, that's ego. That's somebody who wanted to win in a situation with the three of swords reverse, six of pens reverse. Look at not moving forward. This is a situation where it's literally misery loves company, but it doesn't look like they're really entertaining it. I don't know if they thought something was going to go in their direction and it didn't. So, tell me about union. Because this is this is something way different. So, I don't know if you're dealing with a, a father, a father-in-law, an ex-husband, um, an ex-boss, whatever this is to you. Because this is not that. Seven of Pens reverse. So this is not putting the effort in. So something went wrong because somebody was investing into something and had high hopes and stopped investing. Now you got the Queen of Swords reverse. That's someone who's bullshit. That bullshit. Like you like <clears throat> no hope, no faith, no belief. And again, it's, it's someone from your past. And I don't think it's this energy. It could be this person. But that's a, a completely different scenario. Yeah, I see this. You're not having it. So I don't know if you try to invest again in something or you're about to. It's already out. So it's telling me it's on your mind or you already did. Oh, my goodness. Hold on.
Hello? You said one, you said 120, 130. You don't even have to go to the nurse. They, she said when your rides, yeah, just go through the double doors. Yeah. All right, love you, bye. I'm going to send the pencil first real quick. Four swords reverse. That, that's doing nothing. You're not even giving it another thought. Someone pissed you off or someone's about to piss you off. Because you're not even giving it another thought. Somebody is not putting the energy into something and someone just deaded it. And I don't think it was the mask in here. And if the masculine was the one to do it, the the feminine got all wild up. Yeah, see, hangman, not even changing their mind, not changing their perspective, not making any more sacrifices. Maybe someone's choosing to kind of, you know, play victim or, or stay stuck instead of, you know, following your dreams. Could be dealing with the Pisces. Tell me about nostalgia, which is the Six of Cups. King of Cups reversed. So now you got a masculine that's emotional, okay? Maybe because they didn't put the work in, they didn't put no effort into something when they could have had something brand new right here. Tell me about tribe. You could be dealing with a couple different men, but I don't really see it like that. So yeah, this could be an awakening, okay? You got a new stat or somebody's got a new stat with somebody because this tower is actually bringing in the Ace of Pentacles. Or this is somebody realizing somebody else is having a new stat elsewhere. Because this is like an awakening. And it would be a masculine. Because now the masculine is emotionally upset, unbalanced, mentally, mentally, emotionally, physically. You have a chick over here that is no longer investing in something that looked beautiful. Not even giving it a second thought. She or he is not making any more sacrifices. Not even going to entertain. And now you got a masculine that's going to get really upset. And it's like, it's almost like an awakening here. It's almost like they realize. Tell me about the tower. To me, that it's like, maybe they juggled for too long, nine of wands reversed. Maybe it was their own setback, not wanting to fight. This is like giving up. What is this tower? I want to see if this is an awakening on someone's, like a, a missed awakening. So it's not really telling me she's soulmate, soul connection, partnership, agreement, soul contract. It's that new tribe. I don't know if you're going to meet somebody else. This was kind of like I meant to be. But this is telling me like, Wanting to give up. So, there's a big shakeup over the weekends, and I can't quite pinpoint it. It's, you know, perceptions, making memories, learning from the past. I see zero lessons here. I like you. So this is an awakening. So I'm not really sure how this is going to pan out for you over the weekend. It, it doesn't look like you're communicating. Because, I, again, misery loves company. And then there was a whole other scenario over here that somebody did invest in. Now they're no longer investing, no longer nurturing, no longer thinking about it, not making zero effort this is not sacrificing not seeing things a different way this is somebody who put the effort into something in the proper type of effort so i don't blame you for being in that energy and then you could be dealing as a masculine from your past it is someone that really likes you it's, it's it's like a new soul contract a new group it's it's, it's someone it's either someone new or someone you know um but this is like give up. The nine of wands reversed is I'm giving up. Like I don't even want to fight for it anymore. 
So I don't know what someone's juggling. I don't think it's like a big deal. I think it's more like someone trying to find the balance. Oh, it could be something toxic. Addiction. It's King of Wands. As somebody who likes the... That's like sex all day. Seduction. Could be turning the back here. Yeah, something could be being exposed with the Seven of Swords reversed, Five of Swords reversed. Yeah, it's like feeling defeated. No communication. Five of Cups, pretty bent out of shape. Yeah, this is somebody realizing that it's, it's like they missed an opportunity over the weekend. Okay. So, I don't know what the following week will bring. I guess you'll just have to watch your Zodiacs next week. So, that's your weekend energy. Hello? I wanted to let you know you one time something could expire. Warranty. Should have known better. Man, they call from every angle. I thought it was a 603. Six something, 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 So that might be a message for you, Water. You know what I mean? Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Contemplating whether or not to pick up the phone. Dealing with a salesman. Reinvention. So you're you're definitely doing something this weekend, whether it's a project, whether it's self work. That's like my disbelief card. Again, opposite energies, material world. That card's never good. That card's not really ever good. You know, someone choosing money, someone choosing work. Someone, you know, instead of changing their life, would just rather, you know, feel nothing. But it's disbelief. It's like disbelief. This is somebody's own doing. You're having conversations with somebody on like a whole nother realm. Fifth dimension, like it was already decided or something. So this isn't even 3D. That's a little frustrating. You must have a, a telepathic communication with somebody. I mean, you are talking and changing up how your 3D is going to go down. And again, remember, this is weekend energy, right? So... I don't know if this is just the start. Yeah, see, I told you. It's how something's going to go down. But this isn't 3D, guys. So this isn't like, um, it's not happening. It's, it's happening on a whole nother dimension. Like, you already agreed on something. You're switching it up. So I don't know if someone chose money because this is free will. This is somebody chose this. So now things are being switched up. And this isn't like a telepathic thing. Like this is you and somebody. 
that you know in the 3D, but your conversations are in the, the 5D. Like when you, like it's like you're making plans in another dimension before you even make them in this dimension. So for those who have no idea what I'm talking about, good luck. I'm so sorry. That sucks. I, I just, I don't want to get into when I explain, you know, dimensions and higher realms and it, it's a lot. Um, but it's a, a wonderful dimension. And, and that's exactly what you're doing, you know, with this person. Because something's, this is 3D. Something's not happening. It didn't go in somebody's direction. They chose the material world. They chose other things. And they could be like, fuck, disbelief, can't believe I chose that. And now, in a whole nother realm, somebody else wants a new agreement. I hope that makes sense, because that's exactly what this is. I don't know if you want out. Because this would be you and someone else. So, I don't know. It's almost like you want out. You want a new direction, and look at Solo. You want out. You're literally trying to switch up some type of contract that you made before you even came into the 3D. That is crazy. I've seen this come out here and there and I just didn't bring it up. And I've heard, I've heard, I think, other readers say it. And I was like, oh, that sounds so nuts. And it's so random. That's what this is. Someone wants out because of somebody else's behavior and decision. Well, this is about to go down, but this is for real. This is, like I said, this is you or them, okay, and you want a brand new you. So now the two of you are actually discussing it, and it's almost like how to break a contract because this is something you guys have already agreed to do. Here's the thing. I don't know if you can actually do that. But somebody's like, I want action. I want it now. Like, I want out. But you two already signed up for this. Before you even came into this world. So you definitely have a past life connection with somebody here. And you got one energy that now wants out. And is, I don't know if they're talking to counsel. I don't know if they're talking to this person. Someone made their choice. This is no more. You made a choice. No more. No more. You're not dealing with someone who deals with games and silliness. They want action. They want it now. They want it wrapped up. That's a little intimidating. And again, I don't know if you're going to be able to break that contract. It's something you already agreed on. But it looks like you got a feminine here that's like, I want out. So that also tells me you got a special relationship with somebody. It's just not what you thought it was. Or where you thought it was going to go. Real fucking sticky. Like real sticky. Yeah, see? Someone's not even showing their true colors. Or, or you saw someone's true colors. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't mean to laugh. I, it's almost like you saw someone's true colors. Like this is... Somebody I don't think realizes it was your, it was it. For real. I don't know if they always use, you know, money for an excuse, work for an excuse, whatever their excuses is, it's, it's, it's work, work is priority. Okay. And it's like, I don't know if they lied to you, like it's not, but they definitely made it seem like it is. This is one of these situations where everybody has free will, but everybody pays the price for free will. There's always conditions with good choices and wrong choices. Always. And this is somebody who wants out. So you guys, you guys were together. This is how special you guys actually are because you're together in another realm. 
it was kind of it was supposed to come together in the 3D. And you have it looks like a feminine here trying to switch the game. Like nope, I want out. Like we're wrapping this up. This would be amicable in, in the 5D. This would be good. It, there wouldn't be arguing, fighting. It's, it's not like that. You make logical, practical, soulful decisions. You do what's best for you. And then it comes together in the 3D on what direction you choose. So someone made a boo-boo. It's like someone really lied about what they wanted or didn't want. Pies regrets not on the board. Maybe it just didn't kick in yet. Yeah, see, it's almost like that awakening. Like, yep. It, it's like it's almost like I feel like someone's saying it too late. This energy wants out. Like now. Not even going in that direction. Even the woman was going in that direction. Straight ahead. And whoever made the wrong choice, because this is like disbelief. I don't know if they stayed in something for material reasons. Whatever it was, they lied to themselves. They lied to other people. This is somebody figuring it out. This was something that was supposed to come together in this. I'm, I'm really actually curious about, curious about that. Because in the 5D, you don't argue. You come to decisions. And right now, there's a decision being made. I don't even know how you would switch that up right now with the energy we had a couple of days ago with the 48 hours of decisions. So I don't know who the frig you two are to each other. What you was, it's, it's more like what you were supposed to be in this world. Meeting up, conversating, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted, could be a friendship. So it could just be you and a friend. It, to me, it was probably more than a friend. But like I said, that's, yeah, you're, you're talking. You're meeting up. That's ex shit. That's exactly what I said. And I don't, guys. That's not three D to me. That's definitely five D. It's not gonna tell me what you guys decide. However, it goes down in the three D. Is gonna be finalized. Because it's being finalized now. Somebody wants out. And now you got somebody, like, I don't know how that would not be regret. What is this numbing? This is somebody who made the wrong choice. Yeah, see, I don't know if now they're trying to be strategic. I don't even think, see, yeah, see, it's over. I don't even think that's options. Hi. You can just leave. I just said that. I just go through the double doors. All right, I love you. Bye. Um... Yeah, it's like something's over. So this is maybe somebody left, you know, too many options on the table. But not, no, see, to me, this is someone strategizing because it's, it's over. So something is about to end in the 3D if it hasn't already in the last couple days. Because now somebody's in dis disbelief. So to me, it just currently happens. Now this energy is like, fuck. Can I transform this? Can I fix it? It's a little intimidating, this read, because of this. Because something was supposed to go down in the 3D, and now somebody's like, has had it. Yeah, see, material world, like, see, like, this is, again, not wanting to fight for something. Wanting to give up. So maybe you always put work first. Or this is somebody else that's just given up on you. Like, there's no light. Some of you could be considering a new job, but I doubt it. This is a weekend read. This is love. So, you're no longer fighting for something. Where's this nine of wands? So it's like wanting to find that balance. But see, your 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 God's still up though. This isn't like. Well, again, it's 
that's money and trying to find the balance, but there's there's no balance, there's still a blockage. What is this received? So that's again you or them. You're not you're not having it. The message is being delivered. This is someone who stands in their integrity, their moral, someone's extremely fucking confident. There's no backing down. This is this is Queen B. This is no matter big, small, tall, happy, what you're rocking, you are you you're rocking and you're happy and you're content. You don't you can't stop this energy. I asked who is the the received, who is the nine of pence? It's it's a feminine because you got the princess of wands and she's no longer doing nothing. The Princess of Wands reversed, not talking, not communicating. This is how she looks in somebody else's eyes. This is how they view her. But she's not having it. And he's not doing anything either. Damn. This is like... You're not talking to this person this weekend. And you're trying to sort something out in the fifth dimension. You have to be dealing with someone who's extremely spiritual. Because this one, no, that's it. She's literally telling her guys or his guy, like, that. that's it. Not this time, not no more. Someone made a choice. They're not willing to fight for something. They're not willing to balance the scales. They're, they're still blocked. And someone's like, okay. You made your choice. Received. Message received. Got it. Don't don't you worry about me. Don't you worry about me. That can't be easy though, guys. It can't be. Because you have that connection with somebody there. It was supposed to come together in a 3D and it didn't. So don't get your like panties in a bunch and think this is for everybody. And like, oh my god, and blah, 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 blah. I, I don't know. Maybe it's a good thing it's going down that way. So you can just move forward and not deal with karmic consequences. The The person who made the choice, though, is still going to have to deal with consequences. I'm not even going to throw on that. There's no need. That wasn't a good choice. I know it wasn't. I'm gonna throw one card for free free will. It didn't it didn't go according to what somebody thought it was gonna do. Coffin ending, bring news beginning, growth, change, liberation. Yeah, it's it's like an ending, you made your choice. And now your ending is somebody else's beginning and it's probably you guys. You ended it. And that's it. I, this is like bite my tongue. I feel regret with that free will. Um, take a chance of risk being strategic, not showing their hand. So again, maybe they're planning something, but you know what? It might be too late. This isn't taking a chance. There's still a blockage. Someone chose this. They're no longer fighting for something. They're not balancing the scales. They're dealing with somebody who's not even, has zero interest in even communicating with this energy right now. Someone pissed someone off. And this is strategizing, be a strategic. Nothing's moving forward this weekend with this energy. So be careful where you are exerting your energy. Money means a lot to somebody, and somebody wants to come off like it doesn't. For those who are in that scenario.
masculine. Yeah, look at that. King of Pence. That's the number one king when it comes to money. Not following their intuition. Not not speaking up, not saying something. This is somebody who would rather just keep adding to the piggy bank than to fight for someone or something else. And now with this trying to be strategic, and it's not, I don't really see nothing working out for this energy this weekend. Bam, see? Nope, there's that regret. <clears throat> Not feeling too hopeful. I don't know what went down, but it's so clear that a choice was made. And someone's now like thinking, damn, it was the wrong choice. I don't know. I can't tell you if it was right or wrong. It doesn't look great. I'll tell you that. Because this is somebody that now feels like they made the wrong choice. I don't think they thought you were serious. They didn't take you seriously. Because something went down in the 3D. And now you're dealing with somebody where you and this energy are now in the 5D, stuff gets resolved properly, the right way. There's no games. This, there's one energy. I want it done now. I'm done. Now. That's it. I want it done. I want a new direction. And that's what you're discussing right now. I don't think you guys are meeting up over the weekend. This is happening in the 3D. So I don't know if they're trying to like get one more shot in the 3D. All right, give me one more shot in the in the in the 5Z, but I want one more shot in the 3D cuz one one's out and the other one's like, "No, wait, hold on." That's your discussion in the 5D. Can I have one more chance in the 3D? So I don't know if you told somebody you were going to give them another chance, but at this point you don't you don't want another one. You don't, for those that it is resonating with this. You want done. You want the new direction now. That person's, you're not in my future. You can't agree. You can't get past certain shit because I got past mine. There's something special between the two of you. It's the freaking 5D, guys. It's just not getting on the same page in the 3D. And it's like, I feel like you're just, you're trying and trying and that someone just, it's, it's like more than the breaking point. Message received. I'm done. You made your choice. Someone could have just put work before money, before everything. You had the six of pence, the king of pence. They, but they're lying. They want more. I'm sure they want more money, but they, they want more. But you know what? It's, it's almost like the energy won't own it. So what an interesting, interesting read. I guess you just have to wait to see what happens in the 3D. All right. Fire. Fire, fire, fire. Fire. Aries Leo Satch. Aries Leo Satch. All right, we got energy. Here is Leo Sag. I don't want the That's not good. Mm, that's fucking not good either. Oh, it looks like all hell's gonna break loose. This is like that. You might want to go watch Earth. This is that Misery Loves Company. There's definitely something still getting in the way of you. Uh, something. This is destruction. Karmic partner. Mirror. Look, I put it upside down. I did that before. And remember last time I did that? I was like, there's a big meaning for that. It's like an illusion. 
this is there's it's, it's an illusion somebody was in an illusion and it's almost like it got it gets brought to their attention this week and This is Misery Loves Company all day. What the actual fuck? Wow. We haven't had this energy this strong come out like this. Regret. I was just saying that in Cancer. I can't believe it didn't come out in Cancer Scorpio Pisces, right? Well, that's it. Someone's been lying to somebody about what they really want and the, the direction they want to go. Lies. Deception. Third party interference. And now water had that in the same place, but it, it almost felt like it was a little too late. And I want to say earth had that too. With the misery loves company. This is misery loves fucking company all damn day. What are you guys doing? Ouch. I am staying away from fire this weekend. I fucking love you guys, but... No, thank you. No, thank you. This is so heavy, I can cut shit in the air right now. That I'm not even kidding you. This energy feels heavy and sticky. I'm not staying long in this reading. It feels gross. Like somebody still got in the way or you allowed it. This is an argument. This could be somebody else arguing. But somebody's lying to a comic about what direction they really want to go in. Lying. Shitty. Tell me about destruction. And now somebody is seeing something and it's almost like it's, it's too late. They chose wrong. Yeah, see, that's a message that you're... It's, it's like watching too, but yeah, it's, it's, it's a message too. You're not going to like something's not moving forward. Somebody is not going to be happy this weekend. Three Cups Reverse. It's in my exact words. Someone's not going to be happy this weekend. I'm getting on my boat. I'm out. Third party. It's a fucking third party. It's done. Somebody's out. Done. Yeah. Too many juggling. Not juggling no more. This is the end of a third party scenario. There's no more confusion. You're not keeping your options open. It's done. So you took yourself out of the equation or somebody else did. Yeah, you're past. What were you dealing with? I, I don't know. It, it's not having no morals. Not wanting to make a decision. Five of swords, constantly fighting, wanting to win. Yeah, lies, mask. This looks like something's being exposed. But it's between Misery Loves Company, Truth of Loops. So somebody's really fucking hoping. Saturn's here. Justice is here. Karma's here. husband and wife here not working out moving but like oof. I don't know if you're dealing with an Aquarius but this is like this is a this is like a, a, a sh like a shift maybe this is somebody seeing something now maybe somebody was was it was very illusionary energy you know, third parties. This was, you know, upright. Like this is somebody wanted to eat their cake and have it too, and all and all hell broke loose because they didn't make decisions and they kept lies going. This was caused by somebody's own doing. Tell me about the star. Yeah, somebody still has hope that they can have something with somebody else, because the four of cups reverse is somebody who wants another opportunity that missed an opportunity and they're still hoping they can have it because they're just realizing something. 
If you're dealing with any water sign, good luck because in the 5D, someone wants out. And somebody knows what they're doing. Yeah, see? And in the 3D, it's, you're not putting effort into something. It's like you see something, but you're not doing it. And then you're leaving. Ningya with all these messages. There's a country song that just came to me with this. Um, and there's something in the mirror. It's, it's actually something in the mirror. Um, he was something. It's a female singing it. He was something. Hmm. I forget. Um, it's. I think it's like a too late song. Boat again. Receiving what you need. Progression. Arriving. Moving on from closures. This is the same thing. So you're wrapping up something with someone, but what is happening? Why is the Prince of Pentacles reversed? Because this is not talking, not offering, but knowing something. The Chaser. This is fear of abandonment. It's codependent. So there is just a codependent situation here. Um, lies are being exposed. They're no longer giving to this energy. They want to move forward. They are moving forward. Um, and they're hoping at one point they can have a second chance here with somebody. And it, it's, it's not this energy. But again, if you're dealing with water, because that's right when I talked about water with the same type of messages... That would be like the 5D. Being lighthearted, finding out things come into light, adapt, chill, and change and heal. So just take care of yourself this weekend. You have an energy, you're moving forward from something toxic, which is good. There is something coming to light. You, ha you do have an ugly situation this weekend with your past because you've been lying and the truth's coming out and you're done investing. You're done investing in this scenario, whatever this is. So I don't know if it's like, I think you're just trying to adapt here. Um... You're hoping for a second chance with somebody. So again, it's just weekend energy, so we're not like really getting into that. But you do have it twice, guys. Receiving what you need, progression, you know, arriving, moving on, closing out certain issues. So you got something coming towards you. I want to say this weekend, but you, I mean, there's something clearly there, okay? So I wish you luck this weekend. I'm telling you this energy is like, um, I'm sorry if you feel gypped, but that energy was, was so, it's like a cloud over my head right there, guys. No, 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 no. And no, 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 no. So there's that. And literally, you guys were a 10 minute read. I started at 39 and ended at 49. And that breaks down to number one. Okay. So. It's, it's time for a new beginning. So Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Weekend energy. No, man. Could be down with an earth sign. Grief. I was waiting for that. An earth. What was it? Water? I don't know. Material. See, you, you guys are all meshed in this weekend. You're all meshed in. That was the same exact thing in water. 
That was water too, actually. Because that was with the whole 3D thing. So earth, I don't know if it was earth or, or water where I was like, I'm waiting for that grief. I'm just waiting for that card to come out. I can't really tell what the energy was with fire because it was just so overwhelming. Just sticky, icky. So you do have some type of balance. If somebody wants balance, someone's keeping to themselves, trying to figure out how to create balance. This is, again, like disbelief. Like, what the fuck did I do? Again, see the comic. So this was just in fire. You're all intertwined. Someone's like really upset. Twin flame material world. Someone's been more focused on money since spring. It's so ironic. I literally would recommend all of you guys to go watch every Zodiac. I'm not going to lie to you. This is in every story, in every Zodiac. This is, I can't believe that something went down like this. Yep, there you go. There's that regret. I can't believe it. This is somebody who thought something was going to go their way. Or they let ego get in the way. This is somebody who thought it was going to go exactly how they wanted it to go. Yeah, this is somebody that's now stressed out. They don't want to see something. They didn't want to sacrifice, hanging on for the wrong reasons, non-negotiable. Could be a family member, something going down with family. Or your own happiness. So now I think you're just trying to figure out how to create balance again in your life. Yeah, see, you want to, you want some type of offer back. And I was going to say, again, that, that was in the fire. And there's a fire sign. Doesn't matter who you're dealing with, it's just how they're coming in. So if you ask me, there was somebody else in the picture, clearly karmic. You were too focused on the past or somebody else was. You had two cups behind you, so that means you were just as focused on pain and hurt when you had love. Somebody offered you something. You didn't want to see it. You were blinded. Why? Because you were dealing with another scenario, and now you want it back. And I don't even think you're being quiet about it. I think that's somebody else that took, like, I almost said sabbatical. That would be a long ass fucking break. Yeah. See, that was that was it was karmic. It's just whether it's it's them or somebody else, whether it was the right one or the wrong one, it doesn't matter. There was no balance. So at least you're aware that that's needed. You dropped some weight, but you dropped the wrong weight. If that makes sense. So you have this feminine watching something going down, and they're just holding back too. So that's the comic. The comics hold them back. They know what's going down. They know they don't have much control over a situation anymore. That could be someone who just cut it down, cut it off too. Now you got this masculine that's, again, just trying to strategize. How do I move forward? And it's, it's, it's not with that energy. It's just wanting to move forward and, and dropping the weight in general. Someone didn't make the right decision in the last couple of days. And someone's going to really get a dose of that energy this weekend. Yeah, see? This, you had an energy here like it says twin flame. But you have an energy here that was constantly keeping you restricted. There was some type of new love, like I said. There was a new opportunity, and you missed it. You chose wrong in the last couple of days. And now the person you're dealing with that you could have had a solid fucking offer with, you pissed her off. So good luck there. And that woman came in with either earth and water. It was that message. So... Something's going down. 
where you're just like, what the fuck did I do? This is, I don't know. Sometimes you just make the wrong choices and hopefully you learn from them. You know, with this numbing, yeah, wedding rings, married, soul connection, everlasting love, promise, Cupid, Darrow. You had something special with somebody that clearly was not the karmic, okay? And now it's it's very bittersweet because of what you chose in the last couple of days. I don't know if you chose to stay in a karmic situation because of money. You thought something was really going to end up going in your direction and now you're paying for it because it didn't go according to how you wanted it to go. And the emperor came out reverse. That somebody is extremely controlling. Doesn't create any balance. And now wants it. You have somebody that was keeping you stuck. It's, it's almost like money was keeping you stuck. Got to break free. Yeah, so you're ascending now, though. You're, you're pushing through obstacles. Okay. You might want to get out and date now. So, engagement ring. Yeah, see now, see, now you're nervous. However something just played out, you have someone here that you adored and loved. And someone fucked up. Someone else could be dating now. And you're like, shit. Maybe you find out your ex... You know, you could have broke up with your ex a month ago and you find out on social media or something, all of a sudden they met somebody and they were just dating, just got back out there and now someone put a ring on their finger. Because that could happen too. This is a scenario where someone kind of kept you in a no good scenario seduction hooking up flating during third party interference dating yeah so you still had someone that was keeping you restricted from really giving and i think now you can clearly see that right so now you want to have a conversation talk you feel stuck you can't stop thinking about somebody you're stopping the pattern though see so you're just realizing it so I don't see much communication either. The most action I saw all weekend was fire because it was destructive. It was arguments, you know, supposedly lies getting revealed. Who knows if they're going to own them? You know, just because they're getting revealed doesn't mean someone's going to own them. So it's, it's a very low-key weekend, um, which is good. You know, do your own thing. Don't pay any mind to other people's, you know, business, drama, at the end of the day, worry about you. Looks like you have a collective wrapping stuff up. You have another collective that's like, oh my God, I can't believe what I did. You got another collective that really is now like trying to figure out how do I get this back? Oh my gosh, like what did I do? You got uh, a married scenario for some of you or some of you have been with a long time or a work scenario. Something's going down with money. You didn't leave a situation because of money. Or somebody makes you feel like you need to take care of them or something. Money played a big factor. Okay. But it looks like you're pushing through. Either they're pushing through or you push through this weekend. Again, you could be out and about, meet a Pisces this weekend. And somebody's just like, what the fuck? Can't believe I lost that opportunity. Because the opportunity is still not being taken. They hope they can have it back, but it doesn't mean it's going to happen. So it really is a weekend of just kind of like everything's up in the air, okay? So you don't know how it's going to pan out for any of you. And I, I think it's it's just because it's it's the energy. So just roll with it. Enjoy yourself. Like I'm going to the beach tomorrow, hanging out for the day, the night. You know what I mean? Like just making the best of it with friends and uh, you know, I'm not worried about the drama that surrounds me. It's like, whatever happens, happens. I don't want to get caught up in, in anybody's bullshit, guys. It's Mercury, okay? So for people who swept things under the rug, you know, this is, you know, shit needs to be addressed. Those who try to not sweep things under the rug and address things, and if it didn't go down that way, and someone was like, nope, and they decided to play stubborn or whatever, well, you know what, there's, there's, 
you know, there's free will and there's a consequence to every choice you make. So this is that type of weekend. So for those who are not in that type of energy, you know, enjoy your weekend. And those who are in that energy, do your best to remain positive. I love you guys.